I never was able to really run a good test of one zombie slayer with a helical against the zombie slayer without a helical on the OB. And Bungie is going to have that opportunity. I'm going to take these helical veins off of here. Refletch this arrow, show you how we do it. So hopefully that'll work out good. Now the first thing we need is my little fletching box, which is right here. <laughs> That's the insert removal tool that I store in here as well. But I have my East and Easy Fletch. You know, it's funny, I've been telling people for years that I have a Arizona Easy Fletch. And then I went and looked up what I have and tried to find uh, details on how to switch the blades out here, the arms. And I learned that it's an East and not, a, not an Arizona Easy Fletch. Isn't that funny? In this uh, box, though, I have lots of tools that we're going to use for various things. I do have some orange and some green, which I bought with the intention of putting on the Zombie Slayers. So I'm going to do that now. In here also, you'll notice my glue, my Goat Tough glue, I have it taped. The container is taped inside here. And I have it taped like that so that I can keep store the glue tip up so that it all the glue drains back down into the bottle. That way, that bottle will last a lot longer. It's not filling up the tip and drying in the tip. So I think we'll go with the green and the orange to match the Zombie Slayer logos, right? That look pretty sharp. But we're gonna put the offset fletch on here. I also have blacks, I have whites, but I don't think I'm gonna do that on this one. And I also need this little tool too, which we'll go over. We'll see how that works. Well, first thing we gotta do is undress the arrow. Let's take the field point out. Don't need that in there, get in the way. And then we're gonna take out our Burt Coyote Luminoc if we can, if we can't, we'll wrestle it out of there with the pliers. The pliers have the rubber, a little piece of rubber put in them and that is just a little piece of rubber that I cut that I put inside that pl those pliers to protect the knock so it doesn't scratch them. If you do, it'll scratch them. It'll wear them out a lot sooner. But this is the, the Ultra HD Orange or something like that from Burke Coyote. It's, it's their newer stuff and I really like those. They're really, really bright. First thing we do is we're going to have to get the old veins off of here and I have a tool for that. This is the boning archery little tool, right? You just get on there and cut them off. And I'm going to do that right over the old, I'm just going to go through here and cut them like this, right over the garbage can, cuts right under it, takes it off nice and smooth. I'm just going to go over it real good. See, it leaves residue, right, from the veins, the old veins on there. And I'm just going to hit that real good and scrape it good and use my tool, kind of like pushing down like this across it, just to get the thickest of that off of there. There's no wrapper on there like the pro flights have that wrapper around the end things like that you want to take care care with that kind of thing um because you don't want to be damaging the arrow okay some of them have a weave on the outside you might damage that you got to be careful with that stuff same thing with the sanding which we're going to do now got the thickest of that off you can see it's real bare now it looks bare shaft right so we can go out and test this as a bare shaft if you wanted to but i'm not going to do that instead this was helical so it's a little got to remember helical it, got an awful big twist in it and that twist starts to wrap around it so it gives it that helical shape or design this took off the most of that i'll get the thickest of that off my knife but you have to do it and then turn it a little bit because this thing in order to wrap around because those veins wrapped around so it takes a little bit more to get that off of there next thing we're going to do though i have one of these spongy sanding blocks right use it for drywall and stuff like that but i'm just going to hit the high parts with that too Wherever I see a little bit of glue residue, I'll hit that. We're just scuffing it up, changing the color a little bit. All right, just getting rid of the glue. That's all we're doing, trying to get a good spot on here to adhere our new veins. And I'm going to look it over. It looks like it's brandy new. Clean it off with my shirt good. I washed my hands before I did this too, because you do want clean hands for this job. Don't want oils all over your fingers or anything like that. Quick application of rubbing alcohol. If you want to clean that up a little bit further, get some of that dust off of there, remove any re remaining glue. Clean as a baby's bottom. It is currently set up for the helicals. So these are on there right now for the helicals. And we don't want that. We want to get these out of here. So there's little pins that I have to remove. And then we're going to take one out and replace it with this guy. Okay, these are the straighter offset. And it says on here, aluminum straight one degree. Okay, I think the longer ones, you wouldn't have a helical this long. 
Let's put it that way, because if it wrapped, it would wrap all the way around the shaft of the arrow, probably. But that's for those. This will do short blazer veins like these guys, right? But it will also do longer ones like the old Easton arrows that I bought, the Firebolts came with, right? I bought these to Fletch, and I used these and Fletched a lot of my old Easton Firebolt arrows from Excalibur. These are what you would use for that, too, that one-degree offset. So it's almost a straight Fletch, not an awful lot of twist on it, but it's more in line with what you have. And here's a couple examples right here right it's more in line with what you would get on a stock excalibur arrow or a lot of stock arrows my stock death stalker arrow is kind of the same thing the pro flight arrow that looks like a one degree offset it's almost a straight fletch right it's almost a straight vein it's almost straight on here so we'll get these arms off of here and put the new arms on that's gonna be a little bit of a hassle but we'll figure it out hard to film myself doing it but i took that allen wrench and I pushed it through that hole right there, and basically it pushes that pin out, okay? It's a struggle. All right, and that's what it looks like when we're done. We're going to pull that pin, put it in the next arm, one of the orange arms, and then put that in its place. I got one of them done. It's probably good enough. <laughs> Way more arms than I need, not in terms of number of arms, but in terms of length of arms. I don't need veins that are six inches long. But nonetheless... This was a lot easier to get these little pins out this time than it was the first time. I think once you do it a few times, it like loosens it up so that they, it goes a lot smoother the second time around. But I didn't fight with it nearly as much as I did the first time. Yeah, that part actually went a lot smoother than it has in the past. I am really surprised. Let's see if we can put some veins on here. Key with putting veins on arrows. Make sure you put them on the right end. Don't put them on the end with the insert. You probably could. Could drop that right down in there and put veins on it. But we're not going to do that, are we? Let's put two greens and an orange just to get a little color in there. We'll get two greens. Boom, boom. Here is two greens. Blazer veins. I do like the blazer veins. You can experiment with different veins and different things. Are quiet. Some of them are quieter. Some of them are considerably quieter, actually, from tests I've seen. And other ones fly differently whatever um i try to keep it consistent across the board because i'm always using the same equipment consistency is a big deal for me i like consistency now the odd dude we're going to put in the gray arm and the other two are going to get the regular ones but but i want to line up my logo now this means absolutely nothing to the typical user of crossbow arrows it doesn't mean anything right because the logo is just put on randomly, probably. It probably doesn't line up with the spine or anything like that. But I'm going to put these little veins in here. And I'm going to have an orange, the single orange. I want this part up when I put it in the flight groove. And slightly facing me. So I can uh, admire the logo when it is in the flight groove. So the orange is going to go down. And that will tell me that I put that down. Really, that just tells me every time that I shoot them the same way. The other thing you want to do is put your blazer veins in this way, not this way. That would be bad. So put them in the right way. Uh, there really isn't a way to screw this up if you think about what you're doing. It's pretty straightforward. So we'll tuck those in good. We'll just get those in. Boom, boom. And then we'll put our last dude right over here and slide them down. You want them all even. they got to be even. they all got to be slid down to the bottom of the arm. And they are, and they are ready to go. The application of the glue, not a big deal. I cut this open, and this will last for all the arrows I'm going to do for a long time, but I have backups, too, in case this dries out. We're going to start right at the top, in this case, and go down that vein, because that pushes it back into the socket. If I go up, it wants to drag it. And then you got to look in the light and get the light just right to see if it glistens. Yes, it does. That means i got glue on there. Some of these colors, the orange likes to show that the glue went on here, but this green is making me guess. You know what I'm saying? We are going to take this and we're going to push up and turn. Ta -da. And then we're going to put a cap on here. How's that? Drop that cap right down there. Holds them in place. And if you look, they're all lined up. Looks like we, I'm, this is promising. This is promising. And we're going to find out if it is indeed going to work. I'm looking at them again, and they look good. I'm pretty impressed. I'm bordering on surprised. How's that? So, we'll just set this here, and lean it right up there, like that, out of the way, and come back, and I'll, I'll put all my gear away, do that now, 
and then we'll come back in 15 minutes or so and see how it made out. One little tip with the glue, these kinds of bottles, I let it sit like this until all that glue goes back down in there and goes back in the container. It's not in the throat anymore here. And then I just give it a squeeze and you'll hear it breathe. That means it's just air in that tube. And if once it's got just air in that tube, it's going to be a lot easier to get glue out of there next time if we just put it away like that. But I make sure the container is upright. And I put it right in here. That's, that is taped in here so it can't tip over. We'll just fit it right in there like that. How's that? Huh? Snaps right in there. And then fix the tape a little bit if need be. But that way it stays right in there and that doesn't go away. That doesn't tip over. And that box goes back on the shelf. We're good to go. In the moment of truth, it's been like, I don't know, three minutes or something, but um, long enough. We'll check out here. These things are supposed to dry relatively fast. We will find out here. This has a little gizmo, and this is what I was showing you before. The arms are opening up, and you can just move it like this, and it, if you push up on it, work that back up in there and open it, it'll hold it like that. It holds it open for me so I can take these off carefully. And take it out and we have a beautifully fletched zombie slayer with custom green zombie green and fluorescent orange veins custom matching the logo and i know that if i put this orange vein down in the flight groove the zombie slayer logo is up there the proper way where i can read it it says zombie slayer and i get to admire my logo while i'm doing it now, you can do a one extra step here, okay? A little bit of glue on each one of the ends of these veins can help reduce the chances that the veins are going to get peeled off in the target or anything like that. And we're going to tuck our Burt Coyote Luminoc back in there and slide that back into place. And it turns on nicely, but we can fix that. We know it works. Look how bright that is. It's awesome. And then we will take our one fitty grainer. I'm going to put that right on here. Screwed into that nice extra heavy insert on the front end of that. And we have ourselves a perfectly fleshed, in my opinion, in my opinion, zombie slayer that is going to go allow us to test whether we like helicals or whether we like just the offset. Bungie. So the next video will show the results of that test. I'm going to go shoot this thing downrange at 60 yards, 40 yards, and 20 yards and see if there's any significant difference between the one that I fletched with straight or offset veins and the one that comes from Wyvern Creations with the helicals. Which one does Bungie like the most? We're going to find out in our next video. Until that time, all hail Bungie. Bungie.